Hi everyone, welcome back to Lair Academy. It's Mickey again, and in this short little tidbit, I want to talk about custom errors in Laravel. Currently, with the default install of Laravel 5.6, if we try to access a page that does, that does not exist, we'll get this story message here saying that the page we are looking for cannot be found. In other modern websites, we kind of get rid of this story page and we have something a little bit nicer and cleaner. For example, if we switch to the Laravel homepage, if we try to access a page that does not exist, we'll get this, you've seen it upset the delicate internal balance of my housekeeper with a nice little logo there. Now, what we want to do is change our 404 page to something a little bit nicer. Now, I've already grabbed some bootstrap code, so I'll be pasting this in at some point. However, if we go over to our default project, within our resources and views, all we really need to do is create a new folder, and let's call this folder errors. And inside here, we can put any HTTP errors that we want to uh, that we want to catch. For example, if we right click and say new file and save this as 404.blade.php, I'm just going to paste my bootstrap code in here and I'll hit save. Now, if I come back to my website and I refresh, instead of seeing the story page, I get a page not found. Now, obviously, this doesn't look very good. I'll leave it up to you to deal with the aesthetics. But what this allows us to do is allows us to overwrite the default HTTP exceptions that we have into something a little bit nicer. For example, if we come back here and let's pretend we're dealing with some authorization, we can create a new file and let's call this 403.blade.php. And once again, we could easily just paste this code in here. Now, let's see. If we go to routes and web.php, what we want to do is to say abort. Uh, abort and 403. Let's pass a message in. We'll say unauthorized action. And once we have that, if we come back to our website and we go to just slash, we'll get this page not found. Now, right now, that's a little bit hard to tell, but if we come back and we look at our 403, let's change this to 403 error. And once again, let's refresh our page. You can see that we're getting the 403 error and not the 404. Now, if you remember just a couple seconds ago, we actually wrote a little message in here when we aborted the action. What we can do is we can actually access this message within our blade. Right here, I've left a portion of this blank and I can access that message by going exception and then get message. Now in here, when I refresh the page on the 403, I'll get the message that I'm sorry, I'll get the message that I'm passing into the abort. For example, I could say I am the message. If I save this and I come back, I can refresh and we can see that I am the message. So hopefully, once again, you can see the quick little power that comes by default at Laravel, and we can actually start making those error pages look a lot nicer than just the sorry, the page cannot be found. Anyway, I'd like to say thanks for watching and see you the next tidbit.